Catch and pass is core to the game of rugby. The following examples of good and bad catches are from local New Zealand high school matches, but are representative of rugby matches anywhere in the world. The first blue and yellow receiver catches the ball with fingers running down the seam. He then needs several strides before he can adjust the ball to pass. The second blue and yellow receiver has taken the ball on the side, off balance, and it has hit his body. He then must take a number of strides to regain his control of the ball before passing. Though not a great pass, the blue and yellow winger would have had a better chance with both hands up, ready to catch. First receiver in black has his hands out early to receive the ball. He catches out in front of himself, fingers up. He is then able to scan his opposition and keep square as he attacks the defence. The same first receiver again has his hands out to receive the pass, catching the ball with open fingers across the seam. Separating his upper body and lower body movements, he can pass the ball effortlessly across his body in one step without lateral running. The second receiver in black likewise has his arms out ready to receive the pass early. This gives him time to survey his attack options. The rugby side has several catch and pass videos to help coaches and players develop their catch and pass skills. These include Ben Herring, starter coach and technical series, Wesley Clark, catch and pass series, Miles Mulayina, run catch and pass, and Wayne Smith, catch and pass. Thank you.